You know, every time you smile, you have a mouth full of teeth that are just gleaming. And we're here with Dr. Dunlop to find out a little bit more about those teeth, doctor. I mean, how many different, how many teeth do we have? And what are yeah. the different teeth and what do they do? Yeah, so as an adult, we have 32 um, children, primary teeth, we have 20. and. Uh, but our adult teeth, they're real important. Each one has an, its own function. And if we lose them, which a lot of people kind of get in the habit of, well, if it's in the back, I don't need it. It's That's truly not the case, in my opinion. I think the back teeth are probably, is probably more important than ever in terms of digesting, chewing your food properly. Um, it also keeps the other teeth in place and takes stress off them. When you start losing, back teeth, it starts adding stress to other teeth that aren't built for that kind of force. And yeah, it changes your bite, changes how you chew, it potentially changes or it gives you long-term complications. So I always try to emphasize keeping all your teeth. Um, your front teeth are made to tear. They're made to you know tear the teeth out, tear your food. Um, the back, back teeth are all made to grind and masticate and really digest your food properly. So they're all very important and very necessary. And, uh, you know, we do our best to really, I guess, keep your teeth. We've got a club called the 8020 Club that we have patients that are over 80 years old and have 20 or more of their own natural teeth. Oh, great. Uh, we had uh, about 125 people there. Uh, That's great. So we, do, we do a little uh, breakfast for once a year. It's really a good time. So, That's but yeah. We emphasize keeping your own, keeping them all, keeping them as healthy as you can for as long as you can. Hey, let me ask one question, that old wisdom tooth. Now, I, I still have mine, and I guess I'm in the minority for still having them. Why do those have to be pulled out of so many people? And when it does get pulled out, do the rest of the teeth just go together? What what goes on there? Yeah. Now, your teeth don't really move much after you really as an adult. Uh, for men, it's probably 20 years old. But wisdom teeth, a lot of times, oftentimes, we just don't have room. We just don't mm. have room. They're partially in. And when they're partially in, they're really an issue in terms of taking care of them. They're, they're oftentimes sore off and on. Um, some patients have no issues, but most of the time, if you can't clean them properly, we start thinking about, well, maybe it's a better plan to consider having them out just so that you can manage the rest of your teeth. Um, I've had patients lose their 12-year molars because they didn't take their wisdom teeth out in time mm. and there's decay on those. So it's a real important issue and, and something obviously the x-ray will help us discuss with you and uh, we can kind of give you some ideas of what you can consider. But uh, yeah, I mean, your teeth don't change that much even if you take the wisdom teeth out. Well, doctor, thanks so much. It's kind of it's kind of neat to hear about this because obviously, you know, we all got them. We all see them when we look in the mirror, but sometimes you don't really think about what's going on in there and why they're there and the role they all play. So they're thanks valuable. for sharing. Yeah. yeah. Well, absolutely. If you like to eat, they sure are. And I like yeah. to eat. I don't know about you, but yeah. anyway, thanks yeah. so much, doctor. All right. Thank you.